Hello, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Dani and today I'm going to review and rank the short stories in the Amazon collection. This collection of short stories was put together by Amazon as like original exclusive Amazon stories. And as far as I understand, it was envisioned and created and the authors that were involved were joined by Blake Crouch. Blake Crouch, if you don't know, he's the author of Dark Matter and Recursion. And these are two of my favorite books. And he invited five awesome writers to create short stories for this collection. So if you have Amazon Prime, they're all free to download. And if not, they are very cheap and they're also available on Audible. So the whole idea of these stories are that it's a little bit or a lot in the future, but it's just to visualize what the future could look like. And I'm going to talk about them first in the order that they appear in the page of the Amazon Forward collection, which was also the, which was also the order in which I read them. So the first one is called Ark and it's written by Veronica Roth. And if you want to check the audiobook, that one is narrated by Evan Rachel Wood. So the idea of this story, all of them are very, very short, so I'm going to be very vague on the synopsis. But the idea of this one is that Earth is going to be hit by an asteroid or a meteor or something, and everyone is evacuating Earth. But some people are left behind to catalog the plants and animals and the planet. And our main character is one of these people that is left behind because she works with plants. There's a lot about flowers especially, but also plants in general in the story. And it's a very quiet and contained and just like calm, melancholy story about being left behind and being alone. There are some characteristics about all these people that have been left behind. And it's not that they're going to die on earth necessarily but they are going to be in the last ship that's going to leave earth so there is a little bit of a possibility that something goes wrong but the idea is that they are going to be in the last ship but these are all people that are alone here because everyone already left and they know exactly when the asteroid is going to hit so it's a very tense but at the same time just sad story we have a character here that is specialized in this flowers and he has a greenhouse with a bunch of flowers and just talking to him he's an old man and the whole idea of being alone and being the last ones in the planet i gave this one four stars and i think it was the right length for this story because for me if it was a little bit longer it would get a little bit boring because it is very quiet and very slow but i think it was exactly the right length and exactly the sort of emotion that I feel that she was trying to convey in the story. So if you like this idea of loneliness and being left behind and being the last ones in the planet, that's the story for you. The second story is by Blake Crouch and it's called Summer Frost and it has a completely different scenario. So in this one, there's this game development company who's designing this open world massive game and one of the NPCs, or the non-playable characters in the game, behaves in a way that it shouldn't behave. The audiobook for this one is narrated by Rosa Salazar. And I think if you've read Recursion and Dark Matter, I haven't read other works by him, but if you read this too, this story is so Blake Crouch that it's amazing. It's exactly the type of like future situation that you don't know exactly what to expect and it goes a little bit further than what you would think because that's how it was for dark matter and recursion for me like i thought he would get this far and then he went much farther and that's how the story goes as well and this was a little bit longer and i really really loved it if you like games and game development but also if you just like robots and artificial intelligence and how far these things can go in the future that's definitely the story for you. It really discusses what exactly it means to be human and how far the artificial intelligence can go. And it's just a little bit too creepy. Like you, you think that he's going to like get a little creepy and then he goes a little bit further than that. So for me, it was, it was perfect. And I gave this one five stars. I really, really enjoyed it and I can't recommend it enough. The third story is called Emergency Skin and it was written by N.K. Jemisin. 
and the audiobook is narrated by Jason Isaacs. This is one of the shortest stories, and it's also one of the most impactful and most important and has the most commentary on society of all of the stories. The story here is that uh, a group of people left Earth because Earth was dying, and they colonized this other planet and they're all living there happy. But then one person from that planet is sent back to Earth to gather a thing that they have, that they need, that it can only be found on Earth. So this is narrated in second person, which is a very important thing to, to say about this book, because the whole idea is that you are this person that was sent back to Earth. You hear the voice of this leaders on the other planet that are talking in your head uh, as you get to Earth and explore and try to find the thing that you're looking for. And like I said, this story has a lot of discussion and a lot of anger behind it. You can feel how angry the author is at the world and how everyone behaves and all the sexism and racism and politics issues with our world and kind of like what could happen if it gets too far. This is one of the ones that I would recommend the most from the whole collection because it's just so well written. But I will say that for me, the fact that it was written in second person, at some points of the story, I was a little bit confused because the main character didn't have a voice. The dialogue, the things that the main character was saying, that you were saying in the story, was not written on the page. So you kind of had to figure it out by the dialogue of the other characters. And in the end of the book, I was a little bit confused, but I still think it was a masterpiece of short story. And I think it's a very important one that you definitely should not skip. And if you're not reading all of them, this is definitely one that you should pick up. And for me, this one, this one was a four star because of the confusion that I had to, more towards the end of what exactly was going on. The next one is called You Have Arrived at Your Destination by Amor Tolls. And the audiobook is narrated by David Harbour. This one was an interesting one for me. Uh, so the synopsis here is that this man is going to a fertility clinic because they want to get pregnant. Him and his wife want to get pregnant. And they have, they have been having issues with it. So they go to this fertility clinic that not only can help them get pregnant, but can also influence a lot of how the child is going to be in the future. Now, I was always very curious about this author and I really want to read more things from him, but this story left me so confused in the end because the first half of it is phenomenal. It's so creepy and weird and I couldn't wait to see what was going to happen next. I couldn't stop reading it. But then the second half, I don't get it. I don't know exactly what he was trying to say with that. It changed completely, that it changed completely, but it went in a completely different direction than what I was expecting and what I kind of wanted it to go. But I was really confused at it because I, I don't know what's, what he was trying to say there, kind of. I was so confused and I really, I don't know. I, I feel like he was very subtle in a, in an extreme that I didn't pick up on what he was trying to say. I got some of the of the conversation there, of course, but there were some dialogues that I thought was very confusing and some characters that were behaving in a weird way that I like felt like they knew more than what they were saying, but I guess in the end it, it wasn't like that. And the main character was doing some very weird things that I, I don't know, maybe I just needed more backstory and more pages for that to make sense for me. But overall, I think that was a three stars for me because I just, I was so disappointed by the second half. So I'm not sure how to recommend this one because I'm, I think a lot more people is going to like this direction that we went more than me. I guess I just wanted, maybe it was too unexpected and unique and I wanted something more familiar because what I thought was going, where I thought that story was going would definitely be more expected. And he definitely did something unexpected. It's just that I didn't necessarily enjoy how the story, where the story went. But I will be very curious if you've read the story and what you thought about it, because I, I don't know how I feel about it. 
The next one is called The Last Conversation by Paul Tremblay, and the audiobook was narrated by Stephen Street. This is another story that was told in second person, and in this one, you wake up in a room, a very dark room that you can't see anything, and you don't know what's going on, and there is this voice that starts talking to you and trying to help you remember and get your memory back about your whole life, because you don't remember who you are or what happened in your life. And this time, I think the second person worked better because we had the dialogue, the actual words that the main character was saying. So I was never confused about what was going on. And this was definitely very, very spooky. It's so weird to be in the head of this person who doesn't know anything. And you can kind of feel what they were feeling because you also don't know what's going on and you're learning as you go with this character. So it's kind of a... St- a story that would be interesting to reread because after you get the ending and you know what's going on you can reread and see from that point of view but it's definitely a like a very chilling story and i really recommend if you like more horror like stories because it's definitely a sci-fi a more scary sci-fi not too scary if you don't like horror it's fine but the atmosphere of this book makes it scary and i think that's one of the, my favorite a type of horror story is like a psychological situation that you're put in and you don't know what's going on. I don't know. It was very well written. I really love it. And I really want to read more from this author now. And the last story and the shortest one is called Randomize and was written by Andy Weir. And the audiobook is narrated by Janina Gavankar. And this, like I said, is the shortest one. So I'm going to be very brief in the synopsis. It's basically in a more near future in which Vegas casinos have this kind of anti-cheating software. I guess I can say that it's a software because the next comment that I was going to say is that this is a very computer-based story. It talks a lot about computers and how computers work and how softwares are developed. And there's so much words about computer. And I know a lot about computer, but still it was very very advanced so if you know a lot and like things about programming especially you might enjoy the story more than i did i think that part was very interesting and how they were designing a software to prevent cheating in the casinos i just thought the ending was very anticlimactic and i'm not going to go into what happened or the plot here to get to that ending it's just i was expecting so much more I've read The Martian by this author and it's one of my favorite books, so I was definitely expecting more. I think it was a very good story, it was well written, it was just anticlimactic. Like I said, you're waiting for something very big to happen and then you're like, that's it? And then it's over. I feel I felt like that was part of a bigger story maybe, but that on its own it didn't work as a whole story for me. But it's the shortest one, it's like 28 pages. So I do recommend it if you're interested about it because you're going to read it in one sitting for sure. I gave Randomize three stars. So I already talked about all of them, let's rank them. I already told you my star rating, but some of them have the same star rating. So let's see how they would be ranked for me. My least favorite story, I think it would be Randomize because it was just a nice story that didn't pay off in the end. So that would be number six. So number five would be definitely the other one that I gave three stars, which is you have arrived at your destination. This one was better than randomized because the first half is amazing. Then number four would be Ark because it's slower than I usually like stories, but for people who like slow stories, I think it's, it gives the perfect feeling that it's trying to give. So I think it was really good, but they're all really good now. So this one is going to be in the fourth spot. In third place, I would put The Last Conversation, and that one was a hard one to pick between that and Emergency Skin, because they're both very similar in being told in second person. I had a little bit of an issue with with being confused in Emergency Skin, but I still think that story was more impactful for me than The Last Conversation was. As much as it was thrilling and spooky, The Last Conversation was not something that left me thinking so much after I read it. The second place goes to Emergency Skin. It's so well written. I really recommend it. And it's just a good, very good one to discuss. And like I said, it will leave you thinking. And in first place, definitely Summer Frost. It was my favorite one. It was the type of sci-fi that I love that 
it's just creepy because of the AI and it's so fast paced, completely opposite of ARC. This one I felt like I was running towards the end in the, in the end of the book, like the last pages, I was like out of breath. It's how, how, how fast it was, but it was so thrilling and I just loved it. I really hope this video helped you decide if you want to pick this collection up. I do recommend it if you like sci-fi, especially if you're interested in reading some of these authors as well, because it's a good way to learn a little bit about their writing style. I don't think that this necessarily is how the writing style is going to be for every book, for sure. For example, The Martian is one of my favorite books and Randomized was not my favorite story. But I do think that it gives you an idea if you want to know more of this character, these authors. So let me know if you read any of these or if you're interested in reading now, because I would love to know that. And remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye.